Catalina, come quickly! I think I've found one! There it is! Amazing! It looks like a lesser spotted boggle beetle! Whoa! Run, Rupert! <laughs> Hang on! There's nothing following us! What was it, Ottoline? Uh, I'm not sure, but it certainly wasn't a beetle. It looked very fierce. I'm sure there's nothing to fear. After all, we are exploring the wilds of Nutwood Forest. Yes, I suppose you're right. There's nothing very ferocious around here. You were right, Ottoline. This isn't a beetle. It's an old merry-go-round. It looks so sad. <laughs> I bet this one gets his beard in his porridge every morning. <laughs> Ow! Did you find another one? No, it found me. <laughs> These birds of a feather are really stuck together. It must have been a magnificent ride in its day. If only... Why not? It could be our summer project. We could remount all the animals and clean it. And paint it up as good as new. I'm sure I could get Mum to sew us a new canopy. And I could get new saddles from our stables. When it's finished, we'll invite all our friends to ride it. Let's keep it a secret, so it will be a real surprise. Not a word, Rupert. I promise. No, Thogmord, I don't think so, but thanks for trying. It seems that lately the ride you're bringing me just aren't fun. But, Prince Bren, everyone is raving about this one. I searched high and low to find it for you. Perhaps you just need to try it a few more times. It's no use, Thogmord. My carnival is just not the same as it used to be. Oh, sometimes I wonder if I will ever feel happy again. But, sire, with all these rides, how can you not have fun? Surely you would wish to keep this new addition. There's no point. I had no fun riding it. Just take it away. Certainly, Your Excellency. Your wish is my command. <laughs> What's so important about fun, anyway? There's no profit in it. It looks fantastic. Even better than I had imagined. It's a shame we can't get it going. I think we'll have to let our secret out and ask the professor for some help. <laughs> hey, what was that? Oh, dear me. It's the Sage of Um. Are you all right? Oh, hello, Rupert. Yes, I'm fine. These landings seem to be getting trickier all the time. Who's your new friend? Oh, this is Ottoline. Ottoline, this is my friend, the Sage of Um. He lives on Um Island and looks after the last herd of unicorns. I'm pleased to meet you. Likewise, my dear. I was on my way home from visiting the Conjurer when I saw the canopy in the woods and decided to investigate. Yes, isn't it a beauty? Ottoline and I found it broken and abandoned. But look at it now. You've done a most excellent job. Bravo to you both. There's only one problem. We can't seem to get it running. Well, now, perhaps I can be of some assistance. With a little pinch of one of my special potions, your carousel will soon be in motion. Now then, if I can only find the purple pouch. Yes, this is it. <coughs> oh, dear. Where did it go? There it is. Must have been the wrong purple pouch. No matter, we'll set it to rights. Now, let me see. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> that tickles. Mm. Uh, yes, this should do it. <laughs> you did it, Sage. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Come on, Rupert, let's have a ride. <laughs> hey, what 
that's where you put your cold feet, sonny. What? Excuse me, you're pulling a bit too tightly. Oh, I I do beg your pardon. Ugh, stuck going around in circles with you again. Consider yourself lucky. Oh, that feels marvelous. It's so good to be working again. Oh, dear. It's not my day. I picked the wrong pouch again. Never mind. I'm sure I have a potion that will get the carousel back to normal. Oh, no, please don't. It's so wonderful to shake my tail. You know, Sage, I think this time you made a good mistake. I think your magic potion has fixed everything perfectly. More than perfectly. I agree. Goodness me. <laughs> what can I say but uh, glad to be of assistance. But now I must leave you all. I'm already late for the unicorn feeding back on Um. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sage. Have a safe trip. <laughs> Whee! This is wonderful. Yoo-hoo! Pasta, pasta. <laughs> Why are we stopping? I just wanted a bit of a rest. Not as young as I used to be. We've been resting for years in that ditch ever since the old carnival abandoned us. Why were you abandoned? Once we were the pride and joy of a traveling carnival. All the children loved us. As time went by, bigger, newer rides came and the children tired of us. We were getting older and breaking down. So the carnival master decided we were too much trouble and abandoned us. And now, because of your friend the sage, we can talk and move as well. Oh, watch it! Oh, oh. How are you two doing? If I wasn't linked up to this dodo, I'd be just fine. But how's a bird supposed to preen his feathers when he's... If you waited for me to go first, we would never have got so tangled. But no, Mr. Hurry Scurry here had to go first. Oh, just my luck to be joined to an overgrown turkey. No. Oh. Worse yet, a talking turkey. <laughs> now I'll never get a moment's peace. Well, isn't that friendly? Maybe you'd like to be turned back into a piece of painted wood. <laughs> Stop that, you two. Don't spoil this wonderful day. Yes, enough arguing. Behave yourselves. We were wondering, if you all agree, would it be all right for our friends in Nutwood to come and enjoy the ride too? Agree? We'd love it. It would be just like the old days. It will be wonderful to hear children laughing again. Great! We'll let everyone know and see you tomorrow. Oh dear. The sage dropped one of his pouches. I'll keep it safe until we meet him again. Goodbye! Goodbye! Come one, come all, to the grand opening of the magic carousel. So that's what you two have been planning all this time. Hello, Pudgy. Yes, isn't it exciting? The grand opening is tomorrow. Free rides for everyone. I'll be there, you can be sure of that. But where did you get a magic carousel? It's a long story. We were exploring Nutwood Forest when... The prince is never satisfied. I bring him the very latest in modern rides, and all he wants is something to bring back the fun. Hello, what's this? A magical carousel? Hmm. Now that may be the very thing his lordship will pay highly for. Time to investigate. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 We've brought some decorations and some treats. When are the rest of your friends coming? Tomorrow will be the grand opening. It's so exciting. Soon there will be music and crowds of laughing children. This time we can even talk to them. Mm. What's the matter? Nobody ever rides us. Don't worry. Tomorrow there will be so many children here, everyone will have a customer. Good evening. The Orthogmot, pleased to make your acquaintance. Uh, good evening, Rupert Bear, and this is my friend Otterline. How can we help you? So, where's the magic you're referring to? I should have guessed this advertisement was nothing but a pack of lies. If you youngsters think people are going to pay to ride this old-fashioned thing, you... <gasps> was that magic enough for you? <gasps> I don't believe it. That will teach you to be so rude to our friends. Now, that is different. I would be willing to pay handsomely for this unusual device. With this much money, you and all your friends could go to the carnival and ride all the rides, not just the carousel. Sorry, sir, but it's not for sale. So, driving a hard bargain, eh? Very well, let's not quibble. I'll double my offer. Sorry, 
But of course, you are welcome to come tomorrow for a free ride. Ha! You'll regret this. No one says no to Theo Thogmort. <laughs> what an unpleasant fellow. Thank you for not selling us. We would never sell you. We don't own you. And besides, you're our friends. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> Everyone in Nutwood is excited about the grand opening. I can't wait to see the look on their faces when the animals start to talk. <gasps> it's gone!